Let's do this, let's do this, huh? Yeah. Do you have anything? Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to this week's episode of The Other Show. I am your other host, and obviously my name is M.O.D. Mod, and today I'm co-hosting this show with the other Mark. You see, we are growing. We started, I was hosting alone, now we've got a co-host, the other Mark. We are continuing to grow in leaps and bounds, believe you me. We've got a t-shirt as well. You'd imagine what is next from here. This week, ladies and gentlemen, we experienced uh, the burial of our legend, Sekitu Masiri, out in Kanye, and a number of dignitaries came through. Former presidents, Namibia brought two, South Africa brought one, Lesotho brought the current and then uh, who else brought? Swaziland did not bring the president. We don't know why you have. I, I think we need to ask a uh, really Fufa about Swaziland, why? And then uh, Zambia, yes, Zambia, you did not bring. I don't know why, we don't know why. And then who else, who else, who else? Yeah, man, Mozambique, <laughs> you did not bring. We are watching you. We are making register. But not only us here at the other show. There's a, there was a lady I overheard somewhere. She was saying, you know, this week was hectic. It was the nicest week for her career. She managed to stamp at least four passports of dignitaries. But she spoke specifically about Yaha Resiriel Ramaphosa. At the airport, she said, yo, when he came, gave the passport, opened. <laughs> next to the stem from Japan. This woman was so happy, man, excited. And again, she said, no, when Robert came in, she was expecting to even help Remo Gabi. But somebody had tell her number four. You know, tell her number four. Always want to take attention. Hey, you can bring the, the men here. And they took, bah, for Robert Mugabe. But thank you, Robert, for coming through. The, hey, when he came in, a lot of people were excited to see him. Me too. I was sitting at my house in the couch, but I was excited to see him. He came through. The, truly, this, this is one president who's been very close to the legend, the former president, Reiki Tumile Masir. About the monument that you are going to name after him, well, we'll just leave the debate to you guys. Help yourself. Suggest any name, it's okay. We'll see at the end of the day which name will be used. But let's take this forward. The first, um, we're going to start the show with a report. A report from our foreign correspondent. We're not going to use his first name because he changes his names like they're running out of fashion. We're going to just say, Charakupandinga, yo, is going to give us the first report of today's show. Take it away, my man. Let's see what you are dealing with today. Charakupa and Dengayo. Yeah, no, this place is quite beautiful. Yet over here. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Although it is starting to rain a little bit more towards the evening and probably night time by the time you actually review this. This is Meganization Charakupa Denga Chirambwe coming at you live from the Haboron Dam. Yes, Haboron Dam. And the one thing that I would love to show you if you had seen it actually when the shot had actually begun was the water that is in Haboron Dam. A lot of you might actually start saying hey, this is irrelevant because water is actually naturally supposed to be in a dam. Howsoever, I would like to refuse that point because water is meant to be in a river or in clouds or in the earth itself uh, and not in a dam. So your point is null and void. <laughs> I got you what i want to do now is to remind you in fact to take a step back like this one itself but i cannot do more because the code is a bit short but mentally you should take a step back to exactly 
this time last year where the water situation in itself was causing more havoc than a couple of these uh, Facebook celebs who are just putting up pictures of themselves naked and gaining ex excess weight uh, unexplainably. I am not poking at anybody, however, it seems like somebody has already poked. Uh, what I would like to state is, this time last year, a lot of people did not have any water whatsoever. You would open your tap and it would laugh at you by itself for being so ridiculous as to try and open it. Like you would open your bathroom and it would just go... Like what sort of um, life is that? Uh, I cannot actually ask that question because I have lived through that life and uh, kind of continuing to go through it. But that is a personal moment that I have to come back. <coughs> Please forgive me. <coughs> However, you need to know that this state of water uh, availability has to be maintained because we do not want to go back to those days when you would get into a combi and assume that the entire car was filled with people of, from where I am from only to find out that most of them are from either Sorowe or Mahalape and you will find yourself looking a bit foolish. We should maintain usage to a bare minimum. We should try and uh, maintain our flushes to when it is necessary because if we want to flush at every point in time, we're going to find out that uh, we will not be drinking anything and it would be because you could not hold in uh, the toilet bowl itself what you yourself put there and now causing everybody else to have a slight problem now in conclusion for us to maintain this state of e equilibrium where you have water where it is meant to be and going into your house then into your body just do your part and you will not turn into a southern uh, hash. Yeah, no, I cannot state the full name of the country, but you will not turn into southern, southern Rhodesia. Yes, this is mechanization's Charakopadenga signing off. That was Charakopadenga. I mean, we, we are trying to throw in some ideas. You know, maybe we could call Habrune Dam, rename it, and give it the name to the former president. What do you guys think? Call it Segi Tumile Masire Dam. And call those mini dams, those 200 and something dams before the big dam. We can give them names of former cabinet ministers, permanent secretaries, all the way until it goes to the main dam. But somebody suggested A1. No, 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 I don't think it's a good idea. Can you imagine A1? In the pothole, so what they say, get to me, the massive road is full of potholes. It'd be like, we are not really giving, he wasn't that kind of a guy. He was a guy who was like, always laughing, jolly. So you can't give a good man's name like that to a road like A1 with a lot of accidents and stuff. No, no, let's look for something better. And the National Stadium, we can't because you know guys go there and they're angry because Zebras has been beaten left, right, center. No, 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 we have to really think about it. Let's look for a perfect thing that would say, no, this one, we could give it to the former president. When people go and they're excited, they're happy, and they're having fun. Speaking of having fun, can you imagine? You remember we started in a, a segment like two, uh, two shows back about commentating just when life is happening. Today we are doing it different. Let's see what will happen if we were to commentate traffic. Take it away, my boy. Mozambogo <laughs> Ritu mama, awatama, ehe, ubizi, bashi mane ba besa di indicator ra kong katai romotsele, pm, pm, ya biring ya karya fokola ya, ehe, 
motshameko o tsoletse go ya ka le ditraka go to na bisi go ha go to na bisi se doja mabulete se doja ma 1-1 tembene la magomsa o ya bona e setse mo rago ke khorola ke khorola di dintsinyana ya ngwa eh match match kuno o tla sa maaka bonya moshimane wa itsura sala sala ka 20 ka match le go mbeno sa ntsatho a tsoreletse go tla nna bonyanyana go tla nna bo ke o moshimane o tla thagalla ka go moshimane wa thagalla ka khorola over take over take he ke na yo ke wa thagalla moshimane re batla go bona mo fenyi mo tsame go wa traffic go dingalo ke mo tsame go eno go ya <laughs> Yeah, that's what we thought too. You think you think it's good? Ah, oh, man, we could we could we could even expand this things and see and put other things inside. See how how it goes. Maybe commentating when the commodities and what again. Can you imagine that? Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. I see you. You're already laughing. We'll, we'll try it some other time. But come to think of it, man. Uh, how many law firms out there would want to advertise their services? We know apparently it's against the law as a lawyer to advertise your services. Not here. Here you can bring your company, we advertise you. And we've started doing that. Let's see the next clip. You see we are, we are giving guys platform to come and advertise themselves. Take it away, my boy. Hi. My name is Christopher. And I'm from Malato Aubole Attorneys. And we're here to represent you. Yes, you! <laughs> At Malato Aubole Attorneys, we believe every Botswana deserves a representation. And we are here to represent you. Have you ever been accused of something very trivial, like stealing somebody's girlfriend or boyfriend? Guess what? We're here to represent you. Do you need Mohali negotiations? We will represent you. Have you ever been accused of being bewitched or something? Yes, we will represent that too. And if maybe, perhaps, for instance, maybe your ID picture doesn't look very nice. Guess what? We will take the government to task and represent you. Because we, at Malato Haboli Attorneys, believe that it's your right to be represented. Think about it. Does your girlfriend ever send you too many callbacks? Guess what? You can sue her. Yes. Does she want money that she's never worked for? Guess what? You can sue her for that too. So call us and do the right thing. At Monato Haubuli Attorneys. I'm your lawyer, Mr. Christopher. Eita Tumena. Nabam pizza says bani wamo tropon. Wane wamo shate mo ena kawan. Four years ago. Neka wata mocha e. Also, what? Because the charges the 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 I think that I Because I 
I'm a free man right now. Because of the Thank you, thank you. Yes, call again any day, any day. Thank you. Uh, oh, you still here? Yes. Another satisfied trust customer. And you could be the next customer too. We at Mulato Haoboli Attorneys, we always have satisfied customers. They call us, we solve their problems. Like right now, our last client, he's gonna get a color picture in his ID. Yes, we solve all ID problems. Think about it. You and your wife wanna share an ID? You wanna be there, share maybe your wedding picture? Maybe you could be kissing. Guess what? We can get that done for you. We solve all cases. I know some people have ugly ID pictures, and I know you don't like them, you don't want to show anyone your ID picture, and we can fight that for you. That is deformation of character. Imagine, you're yellow bone, and now you're, it's black and white. How are they going to tell that you're yellow bone? We will fight that. We will not have any more deformation of character in this country. Here in Botswana, I feel we don't sue enough. And at Malato Haawole Attorneys, our motto is that we will sue, and we will keep suing. Yes, think about it. Is your ID picture a bit, you know, you don't like the size of your nose? You can get it photoshopped. Doesn't even have to be you. You could put Brad Pitt. It's your ID. It's not the ID. That's why they call it an ID. It's you. Why would you need an ID to get an ID? That's your ID. And if you feel like your Brad Pitt inside, you could be the next Brad Pitt with an ID. Yes. Call us. We'll solve all your problems. Ciao. What are you waiting for? Call us at 72 Molato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have a landline, so you know we're legit. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, now we, we could advertise you guys. We could push you. Speaking of pushing, it's time for a commercial break. That wasn't a commercial break. This one is the real commercial break. Commercial break. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a roller coaster show like always, man. We're happy to, to have your views on our show. Criticize us if you want to criticize us. Love us if you want to love us. If you don't have anything to say, it's okay. Keep your peace. Sometimes peace is golden, but speech is silver. So be, be very careful what you say. You don't just say anything, man. But before we close off, we want to show you we are out in Pakalani this past Friday. Remember we said we'll be out in Pakalani. We were in Pakalani. And this, this is what people got up to. They were mingling and happy, excited. Let's see what, what happened in Pakalani. Just a sneak preview. Not everything. A sneak preview of what happened. 
when the other show hit Pakalani for a comedy show. It's been a real show. It's been a real show. And that was the Pakalani show, yeah? You saw? It was nice, Baba. Girls were there. It was nice. They were bathed nicely, clean and all. Now we are closing the show, but obviously before we close the show, what happened in Pakalani? <laughs> I know you are saying stays in Pakalani. No, it's going to get to. We'll be in Francis Town. Dig us in. The other show. We'll be out there in the ghetto doing what we do best on the 6th of July, which is this Thursday. Thursday, tickets are already on sale. Go to the diggers in and be ready for the other show. Be ready, Papa. The other show is coming your way for a comedy show because that's what we do and that's what we do best. You better believe that, man. You saw people in Pakalani. We're happy. If you can make people in Pakalani laugh, how Lona ba Gerald Estate? I mean, Lona non le tabe le ga ile go teng batho ba modimo. Le lo ba khapha madi le manaka. Guys, come through and enjoy comedy with us at Tigas End, man. But before we close it off, as is tradition here at the other show, we are closing it with a comedy performance from one of our big guys in this show. Charles Manasse, a.k.a. Charago Bandinga. Oh, 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 oh. It's been a lovely show. We love you so much. Keep on supporting local comedy because it's the only way out. If you don't support local comedy, who's going to support us? You think guys are going to come as, as refugees and support us here in Botswana? Support starts with you. A nation which does not love itself it's not a nation, it's, it's something else. It's a constituency. I don't know. A.K.A. Charles Manasa. Take it away, my boy. See you next week. Same place, same venue. My name is... Yeah, I hear you. Thank you. <laughs> Have you seen how rich people like you say? I'm looking right at you. Like... You have all the money in the world, you look like the type, I don't know what Tinder you got, but you look like the type, well, well. right? And I think you're making like maybe a little money, something like maybe half a million, you know what I mean? Just a little money, right? So with half a million Tinder, you could not buy pants that actually touch your shoes, like... <laughs> Pants that are so tight you can see the urine moving through their bladder and shit. Right? And like the distance between his shoe and his and and the bottom of his pants are like they had an argument. It's like that. With that weird ankle that sticks out like a misplaced Adam's apple just by the corner. Jesus Christ, walking around with their keys in their hands and their diary, you have pockets, motherfucker. Right? That's what they are there for, you know what I mean? And the A4 size phone. Like, what? Have you ever seen that shit? I don't know why they do that. Every time they answer their phone, it's like they're about to take an exam, you know? <laughs>